Hello, good people of God. Welcome once again. I, I want to take you to the things of the Lord now. And I want to share with you a destiny. I want to talk about, about a destiny. 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 In Ghanaian language, you call it a shebre. Shebre. Everyone is born with a destiny. Yet the shebre, Emma, will be a lie. God gave him or her a destiny. And that destiny will determine your future. Destiny determines who you are, who you become, and what you have to do in life. The reason why a lot of Christians are going wayward is most of them about 90-95% doesn't know who they are in the Lord because they don't know anything about their destiny. In life, if you don't know who you are, just ordinary person can tell you who you are. Any person, any person can tell you who you are. It's like going somewhere and you don't know your where destination, you don't know where exactly you are going on. And you ask anybody, please, uh, can you direct me to so and so priest or this is the address, but that person doesn't know. But he too will direct you to another place. <laughs> That's how destiny is. If you don't know who you are in life, you will struggle. You will do whatever you will do to achieve your aims or objectives or whatever. But at the end of the day, you, know, you are going nowhere. All that you will be seeing is retrogression, setbacks, delays, and denial because you don't know who you are. You don't know what you have to do in life to succeed or to break forth in life. It's a very, very big mistake for believers. Three now, we don't know who we are in the Lord. So now, I want to take you into the things of the Lord, just gradually. So we are just going to learn something about destiny. Your own destiny. You were born with a destiny. You were born to make a difference. You were born to win. You are not born to lose. You were born to battle, and after that battle, there comes a victory, and that is your reward. But you have been going up and down, left and right, front, back, center. At the end of the day, you got nothing. But I'm here to advise you. I'm here to tell you what to do to break through in life. We really thank God for how far He has brought us. We thank God for His mercies. His guidance and protection throughout the whole nine months and we have extra three to four months to finish that the year that's the last quarter of the month so just fasting you are bet be serious in life don't joke with your prayer life prayer life now listen to me we are going to deal the topic of the title um, destiny shebre 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 uh, in ghana one of the old uh, musicians, and I said, I can do for that. I will be told you say, I brought my own destiny, I brought my own talent, but they have turned it upside down. Because sometimes it is due to uh, parental care. If your parents are not careful, you can be great, but they will see your future from your beginning. Then they see you are tomorrow from today. They know what you will become tomorrow. They know what will happen the next day. So they seize that opportunity. They close that door. That your star will never shine. That's why people are been to school. They have masters, doctors, PhDs, whatever. They have every degree, every certificate. But yet, they are more than a failure. They are failing life. Now they don't know what to do. Some have become a drunkard, drug addict, they smoke weed, marijuana, cigarette. What well, their life is totally destroyed because of they did not discover who they were in life. But now it's never too late. Let's talk about destiny. Then we continue. Yeah, Shebra, listen to me very carefully. Shebra ya dia nyame. Ebo bibia wano, or de ema wo, 
before God can deliver you or give you to your family or born into a so and so family, a city, a village, a town, or a country, he has already installed or invested that destiny, that life in you. And let me tell you something. If you are in your mother's womb, before even you were born, some people have spiritual eyes. They can even detect who is in that stomach, what you are pregnant with. So they can even know your future before you came out of your mother's womb or mother's belly. We call it belly. So it naja for can belly belly stomach. Umuhu uda chi ansana ya uwa na se wapi elfu uma me. I will tell you. Now, me the no eh, mamu sabre na the next video no. Me the mbako back. Then we talk about the blood. Cause there's a life in the blood. There is a life in the blood. And your destiny is your life. That's why they sometimes attacks you in your mother's womb before even you were born. They change the destiny. They temper with your divine destiny. That's why you see some people. They just born with sickness, they born with a whole lot of things. You see, when you are born, you see, if you are there, you, you can see a lot of uh, problems with, 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 with their bodies. You see the problems up and down, and you, sometimes they, they, they born blind, they born with one hand paralyzed, they born with one ear, even sees or something like you, you, you see it's, it's, you know what I mean some they born you see their mouth they have problems with their teeth and a whole lot of things that's how it is they see your future anyone that carries a great destiny or a great star and one day I'll talk about the star after the destiny I'll talk about the star then I'll show you how to go about it how to set yourself free listen in life you can't just live Anyhow, you want and make it in life. You can't. If you want to break through in life, and as a truly Christian, a child of God, you have to be very, very aggressive in your prayer life, fasting, and some, some, somehow maybe directions. You add some directions to it before you can break through in life. So to break through in life is not just a joke. It's not one day job. It's a daily and it's a process. Keep on day by day, day by day. Until you see yourself on top. Until you reach your destination. Other than that, you can never make it. Now, listen, listen to me. Say, Obani Bema, Edi Eshia, Ena mo fomo, Enipa no. Na bre wa ye, Enipa ba be to, Oma mi, A wutre no no. Sa ha tamu na wushe bre, Eshia asi. So, from the very first day na, If a parent give birth to you no, that same day, nah, nah, the life has begun for you. So from the very first day to the seventh year, if we die, you will only see die, tosso, and fear, tosso, and son. The seventh year, nah, your destiny is in the hands of your parents. Though you have garden angels are there, God is protecting you, Holy Spirit is on your side. But I'm telling you, listen to me very carefully. Except your parents know what to do, how to protect you, how to keep you, how to groom you, how to train you. Other than that, you've grown up to become a failure. You become a vulnerable. You can never make it in life because they can temper with your divine destiny. You are talent, you are gift, everything that you were born with, they can temper with, they can steal from you. And you can go to Harvard University, you can go to Oxford University and come back with all this kind of doctorate, PhDs, whatever. At the end of the day, you tend to become a drunkard. You become a useless person in life. Spending how many years in abroad? You can never buy product. Look at you. It's not you. Who is behind your suffering? Who is behind all that you are going through? That's what I, I want to talk to you about. I want to teach you about destiny. Knowing a destiny, knowing who you are, what to do in life, why you are here on this earth, why God brought you here. Sometimes when you fail in life or you see yourself retrogressing or relegated to a, a, a lower bottom, then you start saying this, 
Why my parents gave birth to me here in Africa? Why in Britain? Why in America? Why in so and so? But somebody's in Africa here, he has broke through in life. Somebody's in Britain, he's struggling. Somebody's in America, he's struggling. Somebody's in the same place, somebody is struggling. The same place, somebody has made it in life. He has gotten his name. What about you? It's all about destiny. And de destinies are different. Destinies are not the same. Because you can never compare two persons together. Don't try. And don't ever, don't dare comparing two persons together. No. Don't make that mistake. I have my own destiny. You have your own destiny. That's why I have my own date of birth. You too have your own date of birth. The day I was born is totally different from you. My name is different from you. We can be born in the same day, at the same time, at the same hospital, from the same village, the same town, the same city. We can go to the same school, go to the same church, but at the end of the day, I can break through. What about you? Maybe my, my parents saw it and they did something about it. So I don't want to waste your much time. Let's talk about this. Destiny comprises about a lot of things. Destiny. Let, let, let's take it one by one. Destiny talks about a marriage. A year, our year is part of your destiny. The type or the kind of job you do, your profession, is part of your destiny. Your location, where to live, where to work, is part of you. You have to know your, your, your color. I'm talking about it. The, the normal color, whether the shade color, whatever. This is what I'm talking about. Either blue, red, yellow, whatever. All this is inside your destiny. It's a whole package. So you have to take it one by one so that you can understand it. Other than that, I don't know. After you have listened to all these videos, now, you will know that all that you are saying is a total wrong. Because you have been accusing somebody who is not behind your suffering. You are pointing your fingers at those people who are not your doers, those who are not doing you, those which is and which that they are. It is not them. It's all about you because you don't know who you are. You don't know what to do in life. So we are kissing our parents, kissing our grandparents, we are kissing our aunties, our uncles, whatever. They are witch, they are bewitching us, they are being witch hunting us, uh, they are wizard, they are blah, blah, blah. Most of them are, it's true, you are right, but 90%. They are innocent. So learn about destiny. Know who you are in life. What to do. Your purpose in life. Why are you here? Where are you going from here? Even your name can even attract a case on you. Destiny. Talks about marriage. Talks about your name. Talks about your profession. Talks about where you were born. Talks about where you should stay, where you should live. Maybe you were born in Ghana, you were born in America, you have to come to Africa to come and work and make gains here, and make yourself rich here. You were born in Ghana, you have to go to Britain, you have to go to Canada, Germany or Holland to go and make a living. That is in your gene, it's in your blood. It's a package. That's what God did it for you. So you have to know all these things, knowing your color, your number, angelic number, Listen to me, from January to December is 12 months, 12 months, listen, everybody, every human being, anyone that was born out of a woman, you have one month within that 12 months period, no? which is not good for you. I will show me a year do me, no, no, every January, it will see December, no? If I say good month, no, any good month, no, I say good month, no, any good month, no, I say good month, listen to me. If you want to marry it, don't do it. At the end of the day, the marriage will collapse. That's the reason why people are getting to marriage within three months, one year, the marriage collapse. You get into another marriage within two years, you see divorce. Get into another marriage, you see another year, you see separation. You say, why me? Why me? Because you don't know. You marry it at the wrong time. Sometimes you can get a marriage to a wrong person. Your partner is a wrong person, it's a wrong choice. Your wife can be a wrong choice. Your husband can be a wrong choice. Some, even our pastors choose them for us. Our parents choose them, choose them for us. Even if they see the right thing, they, they choose them for you. It, 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 it's far better. But have you asked yourself, 
that all that you are going through is okay or not? Are you sure of the man you are going out with? Are you sure with the woman you are staying with? Listen to me. That's why I'm another. The man, you have to know your man, the good man. The bad one, you have to know. You know your car. You know the meaning of your name. You know where to work. The kind of work you should work, you have to know. It's not everybody that can enter into business and make gains and break through. No. Some of you are out of business. It is not in your destiny. Don't go there. Some they have to stop schooling at a certain level and, and venture into business. And at the end of the day, you see them become multi billionaire. Mugu. They have broken totally. You can't stop them because they have, they have noticed what they have to do in life and they have found out what they have to pursue in life. And they are pursuing their dreams. They are chasing their dreams. They are moving up and down. You know what they are doing. But what about you? So you have to become a teacher. Now you are a professor. Medical professor. Instead to become a professional teacher. Some have to be in the military. Now you have turned to become a lawyer. So how can you make it in life? God made you so, so that he can use you to bless other people. He can use you to reach out to other people, to deliver them, to set them free, to lose them. That's why he makes you to be a, a lawyer, a judge. You can be a, a president. You can be a prime minister. You can be a member of parliament. But now look at you. You have become a farmer. Somebody who's supposed to be a farmer is a, is a medical doctor now. Somebody who's supposed to be a doctor, now look at him. He's in parliament. So, are you telling that you can make it in life? You will never. It's very, very difficult for you. So, you have to know all these things. After knowing all these things, together with your prayers, with your fasting, and your holy life, I'm, I can tell you, sister, you can make it in life. Other than that, forget it. This is destiny. Know the family you are coming from. The family you are born to. The city. Know everything about you. Your geographical location, your surroundings, where you are living, the city or the village, you have to know all those territories. You know everything going on. So you know how to, when to go out, when not to go out. You know the kind of job you should do, what you should, the kind of job you should venture into. Some shouldn't have to travel in their lifetime. You shouldn't have to travel at all. Never make a mistake. Because people are moving to abroad. Because my classmate was in, was in Britain. He came back last year. Look at the, the, the kind of building he have put up. Look at the cars he brought. Look at this. Look at that. Me too, I have to go there. No. Have you found out that you have to leave your country to Britain or America before you can break, break through? Some have been there more than 30, 40 years. They couldn't even buy half court. Till today, they are still struggling. Some will come today, within six months, one year, they can make it in life. They know that their destiny is not in Africa or in their country. Why some white men are coming to Africa to come and make a living here? You think they are stupid? No. They have rediscovered. And now they have to make a move. So they come here to come and work and become a multimillionaire. But if you go meet them in America or Britain or Europe or whatever, they are nobody. Until they came to Africa and they become who they want to be, or God has made them to be. So, brothers and sisters in the Lord, I'm here to advise you. Our next video, I will take time and explain it one by one. What a destiny, a destiny means to you. What you have to do in life to survive. So that you stop talking, 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 talking. You talk and talk and talk and talk. You talk more and you pray less. Listen to me. Your dilation is more important than your, your, your speed. Your direction. Direction is more important than your speed. You see, some, sometimes when you are just by the roadside, you see some, a, a car with a tough speed moving. Pop, pop, pop. Sometimes you say, ah, why is the driver going? What's wrong with this person? At the end of the day, within some minutes, you see the same car turning around. Coming back, come and stop where you are asking, please. Uh, can you direct me to so and so street? I'm going to this place and I, I think 
I've lost my way. Can you, can you direct me to that? You see now, the speed that you are going is not more important than your direction because you don't know your direction. It's a matter to know your direction than to go to, to run faster. No! It's a baby, I will call you a saying, in the Kana, who to know? And it's only baby, I will cry. And found our name from. Who better is this here? But so only more, who better you are, who better you are, people will be tossing you up and down. Please check that. I think it is the other street there. Just, just go straight to the end of the street, turn left, then and then you, you go right, then you, you see run about there, you see all oh, this, the person doesn't know. Because of your tower speed and you don't know your direction, look at where you have end up. At the end of the day, it's a journey that should have, should, should have been taking you just maybe 10, 20 minutes, now you are two, two hours on the road. You still haven't reached your destination. That's why I'm here to urge you to know who you are, Know something about destiny. Which way to follow? Don't follow multitude. Take your time and learn about the destiny. Knowing who you are, nobody can cheat you. Listen, in, in, in this end time, the system is so rough. And if I say so rough, it means a lot of ministers are in the system. Now, fetish priests, native doctors, all this false prophet has come into the system and they are, and they are, and they are making games with the bad teachings, bad prophecies. They are destroying the Christian dom. Sometimes you fish are telling people that you are, you are a man of God, you are a woman of God. No, you sometimes fish are. You can't do it. Because if you look at what others are doing, the way they are duping people, extorting money from the church members now. Look at people, some people are hope they can't go to church anymore. They have decided and they have concluded it. I'm not going to any meeting. Never. I won't go. Because of what this kind of fetish priest and false prophet has done to them. They have taken some, they have lost their, their house, they have lost their business, lost their marriage, everything. As a result of this kind of fetish priest and native doctors turning to be the rare men of God. The men of the gospel, they are all false and they are all liars. Brothers, we have to open our eyes. Now, Jamai says, shine your eye. Do you want me? I throw for me, I come for me, my lamb for me, baby. And what you say, see, you can't have a baby, you can't have a baby. Everybody, you can't have a baby. Listen. As of the end, you can't have a baby. As of the end, you can't have a baby. You can't have a baby. You can't have a baby. No, 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 no. As of the end, you can't have a baby. And when you suffer the suffering will be your kind of pain. The damn your friend, and if you bring half your own, and you would be at three dear pushy, I won't can it. Oh, because they see an umbofu, my bedroom, a gradual step by step. It will be with me a far destiny. Now, what did a name be as in our second video? No, remember what did a name be bring a fun one by one, never break it. I break it down. I'm on our team at Yasiana. One hundred years away, a wabrabo, and this are women. Watch the com. I'm a new Yamaka crew, a Christopher Brian Orsa. If you go to hospital now, ninety percent of Orsa's patients are the Christians because they have been fasting and fasting and fasting for how many years now? Twenty years, thirty years, forty years. You are still fasting, no breakthrough. You need the direction. Listen, you need three things in life, three people in life. One is a prophet, a man of God. Two is a doctor, a personal doctor. And a three is a personal lawyer. A prophet, a lawyer, and a doctor. Some yeah, when you are sick now, the doctor can take good care of you. You can go to hospital, you can go to clinic. They will diagnose you, they will check you and find out what is in your body, then they give you medication. Two, when you get a problem, you are you are you, you, you are human being, you are you are fresh and bad, you live with the people. At the end of the day, somebody will step on your toes and uh, you know what, what maybe if you can't control yourself, you just hit the person and you, you find yourself in hot waters. You know these black black people they they come after you, this police, I mean the police, everyone. Now. So you need a lawyer to stand beside you. And the thirdly, you need a man of God, a prophet. Who can see far? Who can see into your situation? Who can see beyond? <laughs> you need a prophet of God, definitely you need them. You need a prophet, you need a lawyer, and you need a doctor. Look for these three people. And with your prayers, you can make it in life. We stay on destiny. 
our next video, I will start it again. Then I'll take them one by one and I'll test you what you have to do in life to make it in life. God bless you. Destiny. Destiny in life. Destiny. You need to break through in life. You need a destiny. You need a destiny. You need to turn things around. Other than that, you can never make it. You can, make, you can never make it in life. God will help you to know who you are. Destiny is one of some, one of something you can never, one of things you can never avoid it in life to make it. Destiny is one of the powerful things God has created in every human being. So you have it already, not somebody is going to put it in you. Pastor can never deposit it in you. He can never invest in you. No, nobody. God has already deposited in you before even you before you even your birth. You came out with a destiny and also a star. After destiny, we talk about a star. You know who you are. Why your star is not shining. Why others are progressing? Some are in the remote village, remote, remote area, remote. Some, some, some a certain place, there is no car. To, you can't go with the car, you can't go with the motor, even you have to walk. Some, some are there, and now they have, uh, they have gone past me. How many years now? You stay in the capital, you live in the big city, you have gone to the best schools, everything, even you. To find a job is a problem. When you get a job, within three months, they have to suck you. Everywhere you go, people doesn't like you. There's no favor of God with you. What is going on with your star? Where is your star? Do you remember Joseph brothers? They, they say, there comes the dreamer. Look at him. There comes the dreamer. So that you're so fallen and airborne. You're in chill, you're finding two pity. You're finding two pity, you're in shed here. Now that is someone, ABC. Let us put him into this pit and see the outcome of his dream. Because they saw his star. I will talk about star. You see the three wise men, as the Bible say, when they saw the star of Jesus Christ, they followed the star, and the star go and stood above where Jesus was. So it was the star that led them from the wilderness where they were tending their frogs to where Jesus was. It was the star that helped them to locate Jesus Christ and bless him. Oh, star, no Where is your star now? That's why people cannot locate you. Promise and fail has become your hour. It's your best friend in life. Delays, denial, rejection, fear and failure. You are crying day in and day out. Everywhere you go, people hit you. They hit you without the reason. They hit you for nothing because you don't have a star. Somebody has imprisoned your star. Somebody has kept your star somewhere. But I'm here to advise you, sister, brother. Delayance doesn't need a denier. And you're about to break through. I will tell you what to do in life to recover your star, the lost star. You recover it after knowing your destiny, which path to go, what to do in life. Then we come back to star. When you finish dealing with the destiny, our second topic will be maybe a star, but destiny will be more than four or five different series. We did the first phrase, so I want, I, want, I want to take time. That's why I'm going slowly, slowly. I just want to teach you about it. Along the way, I'll give you some Bible quotations about destiny and the star, so that you know that we are not just talking about anything else. Than the star. Shebre, Shebre, me dem Shebre by and will be as a son. Who changed your star? Who stole it? What happened? What did your parents do? They did nothing. From the first day you were born to the seventh year, your star is in your hands and also is in the hands of your parents. It is their duty and responsibility to protect you for the first seven years in your life. And after seven years, God will take care of you. So when they fail to make it in life, that's why you have ended up like this. 
May God bless you. May the Spirit of God locate you and turn your life upside down. Stay blessed.